Hi, I'm Dr. Cornelia Franz, and today I want to share some great thoughts on treating earaches in children or otitis media. As I was reviewing charts and correspondence that came in, I just finally hit a tipping point when one more child went to urgent care and got antibiotics for an ear infection. My purpose is to tell you that ear infections don't need antibiotics 99.9% .9 of the time. It also has been shown in the last few years that children who receive antibiotics under the age of one have an increased risk of asthma by age seven. So in our practice at the Friends Center, we do everything we can to not use antibiotics in children under one. We actually try and facilitate the body's healing itself um, in all aspects across the board. So ear infections are very, very common in children. And the part of it is anatomical. In children, the eustachian tubes are very straight. So when you lay down, fluid and mucus just run straight into the middle ear. But as we get older, they tilt down. So it's harder for stuff to go up the eustachian tube. And so this is why we say don't lay down and feed them with a bottle. Always have them propped up. Even nursing, they shouldn't be laying flat because of the straight eustachian tubes. Now, if a child does have ear pain, you know, of course we love to see them to make sure that it is an ear infection because many times it's ear pain without infection. And the ear pain again comes from inflammation of the eustachian tube leading to the middle ear causing pain. The first thing we recommend, and you can do this at home, your child is, ow, ow, garlic and willow drops. Now, Herbs for Kids makes a great one, garlic and willow, but at your health food store, you can also get garlic and mullein, M-U-L-L-E-I-N, or garlic and golden seal. Both of these work very well as well. Years ago, a friend of mine with her then eight-year-old went to the ER because her eight-year-old was screaming with ear pain. The wait was hours, so she left, got garlic and willow, put it in her ear, pain stopped, no more pain, child was fine, and the ear healed uneventfully. So garlic and willow, garlic and mullein, or garlic and golden seal is number one. Now we also have in our practice some Chinese herbaceuticals that we prescribe, and we also recommend homeopathy. Now two remedies that are very common and helpful in earaches in children are number one, homeopathic belladonna, which is great when a child like wakes up in the middle of the night and has the sudden onset of ear pain, usually right, sorry, that was my right side, <laughs> usually right-sided. And it's basically sudden onset, red hot and throbbing. Belladonna works great, okay? You know, it may be a day or two and you just don't even think, but the child was fine one minute and then all of a sudden screaming with ear pain, sudden onset, red hot throbbing, belladonna. The more popular one that we use, the more common is pulsatilla, homeopathic pulsatilla. For children who are weepy, whiny, clingy, pitiful, it's great anytime you're weepy, whiny, clingy, pitiful, and everything's a drama, you know? I don't want that, he touched me, she looked at me. Mm -hmm. Most of childhood, so pulsatilla works wonders across the board, but we're talking about earaches. Very often left-sided, but no, that's not 100%, but it's the mental, emotional, weepy, whiny, clingy, you know, and you feel bad for mommy, I feel bad. Yeah, and you feel bad for them, okay? So homeopathic belladonna for sudden onset, red hot and throbbing, homeopathic pulsatilla for weepy, whiny, clingy, pitiful. I call them Velcro kids. You know, they'll cling onto you and you go, look, ma, no hands, but the child is stuck on you. Pulsatilla and garlic and willow. Those are three amazing things that can help. And not having to use antibiotics is such a win because the antibiotics can also affect the gut and create diarrhea, create allergic reactions. So if we cannot use them and we have equally effective, safe, non-toxic methods to treat simple infections, why wouldn't we do it? So you can learn more about us at www.thefranscenter.com. You can email us at tellus at thefranscenter.com or call 407-857-8860. 
We, of course, would love to see you. But having been given this information, if there's somebody close to you, a naturopath, a homeopath, an integrative person, um, even a chiropractor, craniosacral, seek help. We, of course, would love to see you, but I just want you to get proper help. So thank you for listening. I hope this has been very helpful to you and you have a great day.